I'll be showing you how to hide prices on your collection pages with Shopify Don's theme. I'll be taking you step by step through here and we'll be adding some custom code. So make sure you follow along until the end of the video. So in terms of an overall, we're basically going to add some CSS and it's going to hide the collection prices. We'll be using this piece of custom code here and it's card information dot price and the display is going to be none. So let me show you everything step by step here. So from your Shopify dashboard, you wanna to head to online store on the left hand side and it's gonna open up our theme. You should have Dawn installed. And what we'll first do is we'll create a backup of Dawn just in case anything goes amiss here during the tutorial. It's so much easier to restore from a backup than to figure out what you did wrong. So we'll go over to these three dots Gonna hit the three dots then go to duplicate and it's going to create a copy of your theme here so you can easily restore it if anything does go wrong so next we want to go into the code of a theme we'll click on the three dots again we'll get down to edit code and we're going to look for a specific file if we head back to our overview here it's called component card.css so we can find that in the top left i already have it open but let me just show you what it's going to look like so component and if we just start our search there we can see it on the left hand side component-card.css so next you want to use this code here i'm not able to write it in the description as it does get flagged by youtube as you're not allowed to add special characters in your description but it's just going to be dot card dash information it's going to have this right arrow bracket space dot price you can have this curly bracket and then the text in between is going to be display semicolon none and important here is just going to make sure that it's going to use this and it's not going to get overridden by anything else then you want your ending curly bracket and that's the code we're going to use let's go and implement this piece of code from our shopify dashboard you want to go to the left hand side online store and this should open up our theme section from there you first want to create a duplicate just in case anything goes amiss it's so much easier to restore it from a backup than it is to figure out what you did wrong so we'll click on these three dots you'll hit duplicate there this will create an exact copy of your theme and the code as it is right now. So we can see our duplicate has been made. Let's go and add this code in. So I'll click on the three dots here. I'll go to edit code. And we're looking for a specific file. So what you want to do in the top left hand side is search component. And we're looking for the file that says component-card.css. So once you've found that code and file, you just want to click on the file and it's going to open everything up here. So next we want to make sure we're adding that specific code in that we have here. And it's dot card dash information. You have your right arrow dot price, curly bracket, display, semicolon, none. You wanna make sure you leave important here and we're gonna have our closing curly bracket. Now again, I'm not able to paste this in the description, but once you have this code, you wanna scroll down to the bottom of this file here. So if I scroll to the bottom, I'm gonna zoom in just so you can see what I'm writing, but I'm just gonna paste that in here and now you just want to hit save and that should update everything in your Shopify store. So if we go to preview store here, we can see exactly what it looks like. So if I scroll down to my collections, it can be any collection for your store. But we can see no prices are displayed below our subheading here. So this code did exactly what we wanted. You want to see what it looked like before? I'm just going to remove this code, hit save again. I'll click on preview again, go to my collections, and you can see the prices are now displaying. So using this piece of code here, it's only a few lines that's exactly what we're planning to do in hiding the prices on our collection pages for our Shopify Don theme. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations and tons of different details and analytics so you can make smarter business decisions as you have a true understanding of your store's performance. It's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok with many cost of goods sold integrations. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below. From there, you can get a 15 day free trial to test drive everything for yourself. So this is gonna conclude the video here. If you enjoyed it, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.